But here's Jesus saying, I say to you, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about your life. He's got your life. He designed your life. In the book of Jeremiah, God talk, talk, talks to us about life. He says to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I never forget my mentor, uh, Dr. Mouse Manro. He once made a powerful comment, and it's only now that I'm fully understanding it. And he said, No man truly lives until he's dead. I mean, that almost sounds like a misnomer. But he said, No man really lives until he is dead. And now I finally get him. I understand what he was trying to say that no man really lives who's constantly worried about this natural life. You know, they hear a sound, they, hear, they feel a pain in the body, immediately the thoughts begin to come, oh my God, I'm going to die, it, it could be cancer, it could be this, it could be... They are always worried because this body, this natural life has been hacked by the demonic powers. And if we don't get out of it, if we don't exchange it for the one who gave us real life, the life of the Son of God, guess what? We are not going to be able to obey this do not worry of Jesus. Because natural life is plagued with worry. It's infested with it. Satan makes sure of it because he uses worry to control people's decisions. To control people's decisions. Right now as I'm preaching, they, right now as I'm preaching, there, are people, there is a young woman right now who's about to give herself to a man who is a grandfather for another dollar. Because Satan has convinced her unless she sells her body, she's not going to have money to put food on the table. She's worried about her life. It's not that sex, it's not that she loves sex with old men. She probably entirely despises it. And even herself. Somebody has convinced her that's what it takes for her to provide for her life. But here's Jesus saying, I say to you, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about your life. He's got your life. He designed your life. In the book of Jeremiah, God talk, talk, talks to us about life. He says to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew you and then I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. What is God saying? I already got your life. I already planned it out. Don't get there and act like it's all after you. No, it's not. The reason I gave you natural life is so that what I already had, what I had already ordained for you in eternity past when you were a, an idea in the mind of God, when God first conceived you in his mind. Because all of us were first conceived in the mind of God because before we appeared, before we were conceived in our mother's womb. So it is to this issue God will speak to Jeremiah about. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I gave you life. I ordained you. And if you stop, quit, if you would quit, stop acting like it's all up to you, you'd have a less stressful life. 